ora, my name is Robbie and I'm another white man behind a desk and we are live at Q Theatre in Auckland. <laughs> That's right, it's Auckland where telling people that you're thinking about voting ACT this year isn't necessarily a joke. <laughs> Thank you for coming, David. <laughs> it's election time, and here at Wimbad, uh, we had a long, hard think about how we could boost New Zealand's voter turnout. And, and we decided that by far the most effective thing to do would be to produce an amateur, self-distributed political satire video. So here we are. Um, and because we don't want to go to prison for somehow violating the Electoral Commission's third party campaign rules, uh, we have gone out of our way to make sure that this video is completely free of any political messages whatsoever and will appeal to as broad a section of voters as possible. This one's for you, Middle New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> that is awful, Finn. That is terrible. Can I have a craft beer? Craft beer? Do you have a craft beer? <laughs> do you have a craft beer? Do you have a, do you have a glass? Can I get a glass? <laughs> That's, that's much better. Is that from Wellington? Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> look, look, I get it, okay? Elections are a massive hassle. Okay, first of all, okay, first of all, why is it easier to vote on not election day? That doesn't make any sense. Who, who made that rule? On election day, you have to be enrolled. There's, there's all these people, and parking's a nightmare, and, and you're not enrolled, obviously, because you tried to do the online form, but you couldn't remember your fucking government password so it wouldn't let you, so you decided to just show up to a voting place on a Tuesday and get someone there to do it all for you. Uh, and then you go up to the desk and, and you tell the electoral officer your name, but the electoral officer is a girl that you, you went out with a few times before she stopped <laughs> replying to your texts, and, and she smiles at you and says, hey Tom, your name's not Tom, and, and, you, and, you, and you, wanna, you wanna roll with it, but it's electoral fraud, so. <laughs> So you have to tell her your real name and address and, and, and then you get this ballot paper and you go to the booth and you have two votes now. Why, why, do, I, why do I need two votes? What am I going to do with two votes? I mean, there's, there's the one on the left, okay? That's the party vote. I know that one. That's easy. The more votes you get, the more seats you get in Parliament. More votes, more seats. That makes perfect sense. What's the deal with the electorate vote? Who are all of these people? <laughs> I don't know any of these people. Why are there more than two of them? Why are there eight other candidates on here? All those other people are doing is stealing votes from the two people who actually stand a chance of winning. <laughs> so rude, little parties. You stick to the party vote. That's your one. Stop trying to do the electorate thing, okay? It's never gonna happen. You're tricking people into wasting their electorate vote. If you like whoever is currently your electorate MP, vote for them. If you don't, vote for the one other person. The one other person who might actually beat them. As an example, if you do your party vote here, okay, then do your electorate vote here. Okay? Do you get where I'm going with this? So there's party vote, electorate vote. Okay, party vote, electorate vote. Electorate vote here, that's a waste of time, okay? Unless you're an Epsom, okay? <laughs> In which case, it's party vote, electorate vote, okay? <laughs> There's also Northland, where it's, okay, so if that's national, or is it? Who knows? <laughs> Could be anyone. Okay, so, and then, so you've got national there, and then you've got, I mean, nobody really knows where to put him, so <laughs> we're just, whoever he is. <laughs> Could be anyone. The point is, guys, just party vote for whoever you want, okay? And with the electorate vote, vote for one of the two people who stands a chance of winning. And, and I'm sure someone at the Electoral Commission is probably getting real mad about me doing this, okay? Well, just get off my back, Electoral Commission. I'm trying to get people to vote, okay? You're making it really hard. <laughs> and while we're at it, I've heard that some of your staff are forgetting people's names, all right? <laughs> And it's actually really hurtful, okay? 
anyway, yes, obviously elections are a hassle, but you should still vote because no matter who you are, your life is political. Um, say you're a student at university, you might have racked up 10 or 20,000 bucks worth of debt so far. Um, you're working at a bar to pay your way, but on $16 an hour, so you can still only afford oak baked beans. Um, your little sister... <laughs> Your little sister is freaking out about NCEA and your dad's been out of work since his accident and he's been on the goddamn wait list for the operation he needs for four months and, and your mum quit her job because she couldn't stand sitting in traffic for an hour every day so she tried to start some business thing, something about knitting, it was some kind of small knitting business. I never really got it, but, but she couldn't get it off the ground because IRD was killing her. So, so now mum and dad's place is filled with hundreds of boxes of knitting shit that they can't get rid of. And, and your mum has signed up for job seeker support and your flat is so damp that the last person you managed to convince to come home with you ended up getting asthma. And, <laughs> and now you have to spend your wine money on your power bill instead because you spent the winter months doing everything you could to not freeze to death. Well, all of that is political. Student debt. Wages, GST, ACC, NCA, hospitals, roads and public transport, tax, welfare, not being able to convince people to come home with you to an extent. To an extent. <laughs> but the politicians who made the laws that affect all of those things might not look like you. Obviously, a lot of them look like me, but that's, <laughs> that's another reason you need to vote right there. Because those men in suits at the Beehive might seem like they have nothing to do with you, but they're making decisions about how society works, and you live in society. People who don't vote get screwed over. And then, because they've been screwed over, they don't see the point in voting. But if you don't vote to look out for your own interests, then someone else's interests are going to win. University, for example, used to be free. And then old people decided that since they already had their university degree, they, they didn't really care if it suddenly became super expensive for everyone else. And, and the top tax rate used to be 66% of your income. But then people who didn't like giving most of their money to the government used their votes to get their rate knocked down to 33% instead. It used to be industry practice to pay people double time if they worked on the weekend. But then the people who thought that was a good thing were outnumbered at the polls by people who thought that was a bad thing. So voila. It's not like that anymore. Life is political, but that's okay. You just have to figure out what you care about the most. Don't worry about it too much. Just, just pick a thing you care about right now, then go to a tool like the spin-offs policy and pick a party who says they'll do something about it, and then, and then see how they go. It doesn't matter if you fuck it up. <laughs> if the party you voted for turn out to be a bunch of twats, you can tell people you voted for someone else. <laughs> and just try again in three years. And besides, millions of people are going to vote. I mean, your one doesn't count that much. I mean, obviously, it's really important. Like, it's really important. <laughs> and you should definitely do it, but it's not that big a deal. I mean, obviously, New Zealand's just going to keep steaming ahead anyway. I mean, your vote is just a chance to give it a tiny nudge in the direction that you want. You might as well. <laughs>